All right, another update. So I have, I got all the magnets in there and they're all facing south out. So north is facing in south out, including the rotor. So the rotor has south facing magnets out. And as I feared, the two stops are too far out. So I'm gluing spacers in there, all right? And I'm also gonna glue a magnet on the outside here, north facing in, because my my little um, this little guy here has that. It's got a magnet on the outside uh, facing in. It just gives it a little bit more stability. But it does work. I just have to get the spacers in there. And I figured while I'm waiting for everything to dry, let me show you what I picked up. And let me slide this out a little bit. These are monsters. These are N52, four inch by half inch by quarter inch. These are gonna be for the window motor I'm gonna make because I wanted it to be a big honk, and it's not going to be a maglev. It's going to be on bearings. But it took me 20 minutes just to get this off of the metal rack that I have back there holding up my magnet, so I can't keep it on that rack. I don't want to hurt these in any way, but these things are scary. I, in fact, I should probably not keep it so close to that. But even if I think if I bring it close to the camera, it might mess it up. I don't know. No, it doesn't. But yeah, these are monsters. Four inch by half inch by, I believe, quarter inch. And they're, they're pulled. Yeah, they're, they're, they're pulled this, they're pulled this way. I'm almost sure of it. Let me see if I can get one of these off. Oh, this thing is a nightmare. <sighs> okay, let me put that over there. Ugh. So that's south, that's north. Yeah, so they're pulled on the two large flat sides. Now I got to try to get this back on here. Oops, got it the wrong way. Ah, there we go. Ah, that's a monster. Yeah, these are these are nice. I've I've also got other large magnets like that that I'm gonna play with. Let me again. Let me slide this over there. I've got these large discs. They're like quarter inch by I don't know two inches, two and a half inches. I've got one, two, three, four, five. I think I've got about seven of these. And I used to have these on a huge rotor. It was a large rotor, like about a seven inch disc that I had. In fact, let me show that to you really quick. Oh, yeah, six, seven. Let me get this guy off of here. See, I had it on this. I have I had one rotor set up with this guy with these monsters. I'm gonna break this apart. And I think I'm gonna set up a big rotor in such a way. Well, yeah, I'm not gonna worry about that now. See, those magnets are good for if you had coils to produce some uh, extra electricity. But yeah, I'm waiting for this guy to dry. Like I said, I've got the magnets in there. And hopefully I can get this thing done today. Ciao. Oh, I turned the camera on by mistake. All right, so it is working. I I need to fix it a little bit. I need to fix the... Um, uh, the shaft. I need to take those magnets off and get the shaft down to a point, but it is working. A little wobbly, but it's working. 
So yeah, so I got to tune it up a little bit, but it is working. And I did, I put north, fa north facing inward magnets on there to kind of hold it up a little or to help it. But I need to, I need to either round off the ends more or make them more of a point. I'm not really quite sure. I haven't tried the big rotor yet, but it is working. Put it down in there like that. It's a little wobbly, not terribly balanced, but it is working. So now it's just a matter of fine tuning the, um, the shaft. Yeah. I think I might need bigger magnets on the ends here or double them up. Yeah, maybe that's what I'll try. I'll try doubling them up. Hmm. Anyway, it's finally done. Now it's just a matter of tuning it and uh, getting it getting it to fit a little bit better. But you can see that it's not terribly balanced, but that's okay. That's okay. It's a matter of fiddling around with it. I think I'm going to try adding another magnet on the end there. I'll take the ones I have on off, grind down the shaft a little bit. The shaft is aluminum. I got stainless steel. Sky Collection told me to use stainless steel on these right. It's a little bit, it's, it's better. I've got stainless steel rods, but these are smaller and I had already molded the um the cylinder to fit these guys so my next one will be stainless steel and uh we'll see stainless steel is much more rigid too anyway eureka ciao so i got the bigger one on there the big one actually works better than the other one which i thought it was going to be the opposite it's still a little wobbly but yeah, I've got to, I'm pretty sure now looking at the height of where that magnet is, I've got to add more magnets on here. And somehow I made the shaft of this one a little bit shorter. I don't know what happened, but this guy spins nice and freely. That's because it's not pressing up against the um, backstops as the other one was. That's, I got to shorten it. But yeah, it's not it's not a sky collection uh, model, but you know, I had to hack this together by hand, uh, and I'm by no ways taking anything away from uh, Jorge at Sky Collection. That guy does phenomenal work. Mine's just a little bit more hacky, but it works. So yeah, that's a little too heavy, um, but it's working. So, yeah, I think I'm going to try putting either larger magnets on there or two magnets to give it a little bit more oomph. Nice and wobbly, huh? That's all right. It's working. It is working. I was just afraid it wasn't going to work at all. All right, ciao.